Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video will show how to take the information that is inside the attributes and export it into either an Excel spreadsheet or other uh, spreadsheet program and also create a table in AutoCAD itself. So this is a block we created in part one and you'll see that there are five attributes with this block defining what the computer is as far as its components go and also what station or desk for example it might be at and so you can see I've got four of them in here and they all have data attached and each computer is just a little bit different and so where AutoCAD gets powerful is that it allows you to take this data and export it out so you can keep track of all this information in the drawing but also give it to say an IT department personnel so that they also have a list of everything in the building for uh, equipment so I've started the command it's just E A T T E X T and so I'm gonna just go through a wizard it's quite simple and now I just want to select objects in the drawing and I'm just going to select these four blocks with their attributes and next and you can see that everything's displayed so I can unselect everything in here and just leave what I want as a data source and you can see there's a couple ways of doing that and so here I have all kinds of attributes that actually are part of the block I can put where each one's located but in this case I just want to take the data that pertains to the computers and now you see it's all there so I don't want to put a count column in and I'll just take the station put that at the front and then uh, last thing I do is I can sort it and here I'm just going to get rid of the show name column and in this case I can do it just by hiding the column so there's all the information regarding the computers got four stations and all the data for that so next I will be going into my options to do something with the data so I'm going to put a table in and I'm also going to create an Excel spreadsheet and get, just give that a file name. So if you have Excel on your computer you'll be able to do the same thing and then also look at it and see how all the data is formatted into the table there. So I'm just giving it a name and correcting my spelling once again and here's just a very basic table and you can use a standard setup there is a tutorial later on the site that deals exclusively with tables and it's just telling me that I'm going to be prompted for an insertion point when I'm finished so here I am placing it somewhere and so now if I zoom in I'll see everything laid out in a table inside my drawing so this is one example for computers it could also be for doors windows all sorts of information that can be used any kind of block that has data attached to it so now I've opened up this one this is for uh, station number 100 and changing the monitor size to 19 inch so now I'm going to go and right click and I'm going to go update table property and now that I've done that you can see that it is also switched to 19 inches so my table is dynamically linked to the blocks themselves I've got the options to put in data manually as well so here I'm just giving it a new uh, title which wasn't there before and now this can be part of my drawing and I can use it in printouts and any other use that may be needed so from there that's just 
I can just do the same thing again. I'm just going to quickly repeat the process, but first I'm going to copy all of these desks up. I'm not going to change the data because I think you get the point as far as all that's concerned. And you see there's my table. And if I update it, it's not going to show the new information just yet because it's still relating to the ones that I selected at the beginning. So now I'm just going to start the command again and that is E A T T E X T and create a new data extraction and I'm just going to overwrite the other one and you'll see how it will update the table later. So this time I'm just going to select everything and go to next and you can see it can be quite quite a simple thing to do and this is uh, much more powerful than it was in older versions and there are my attributes again and you see there's four of each based on how many I counted and same thing I'm just like to get the station number over there at the beginning and you'll see there's four of each just because I copied them once again and the same thing I'm just gonna create a table and you'll see that my data link has changed. AutoCAD will alert me that that file that I saved out to previously has been uh, changed. So I can update the table just by clicking on that link. And now the table that used to have four lines now has 16 lines in it. And so that's how data acts extraction works. It can be a very simple process but very powerful in terms of working with other departments in your business and also to give uh, more information in the drawing than you normally see. Thanks for watching mycadsite.com.